Hey everybody, hope y'all are doing alright. So I am going to show you guys how I do my thing here. <clears throat> alright. What do we got? <clears throat> alright, we are in Esther <clears throat> chapter one. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> The king's banquets. <clears throat> now in the days of ah Ahasuerus, sorry if I mispronounced that, uh, the Asuris who reigned from India to Ethiopia, over 127 provinces. In those days when King ah Ahasuerus, sorry if I mispronounced that, sat on his royal throne in Susa, the citadel, in the third year of his reign, he gave a feast for all his officials and servants. <clears throat> the army of Persia and Media and the nobles and governors of the provinces were before him. While he showed the riches of his royal glory and the splendor and pomp of his great of this greatness for many days, <clears throat> excuse me, 180 days, and when these days were completed, the king gave for all the people present in Susa the citadel, <clears throat> both great and small, a feast lasting for seven days in the court of the garden of the king's palace. There were white cotton curtains and violet hangings fastened with cords of the fine of fine linen and purple to silver rods and marble pillars and also couches of gold and silver and silver on a mosaic pavement of porphyry marble mother of pearl and precious stones drinks were served in golden vessels vessels of different kinds and the royal wine was lavished according to the bounty of the king and drinking was according to his etiquette <clears throat> Excuse me, and drinking was according to this etiquette. There is no compulsion. For the king had given orders to all the staff of his palace to do as each man desired. Queen Vashiti also gave a feast for the woman in the palace that belonged to King Asarias. <clears throat> all right, what else we got? Queen, uh, Queen Vashiti's refusal. On the seventh day, when the heart of the king was merry with wine, he commanded Medumum, excuse me if I mispronounce anything, uh, Mizda and Harbona, Bigtha and Ab Abagatha, Zethar and Caracas, the seven Uninches who served in the presence of King Asarius, sorry if I mispronounce anything, to bring Queen Vashiti before the king with her royal crown. In order to show the peoples and the princes her beauty, she, uh, for she was lovely to look at. <clears throat> but Queen Vashiti refused to come at the king's command, delivered by the eunuchus. At this, um, at this the king became enraged, and his anger burned within him. <clears throat> then the king said to the wise men who knew the times, for this was the king's procedure toward all who were versed in law and judgment, the men next to him be, uh, being Karshina, uh, Sh Shitar, <clears throat> Admanta, Admanta Tar Tarishish, uh, Meriz, uh, Marsina, and Memukan, the seven princes of Persia and Medea, who saw the king's face and sat first in the kingdom, <clears throat> and sat first in the kingdom. <clears throat> Excuse me. According to the law, what is to be done to Queen Vashiti, because she has not performed the command of King Asarius's deliver? <laughs> excuse me, she has not performed the command of King Asarius delivered by the eunuchs. Then Memunkan said in the presence of the king and the officials, not only against the king has Queen Vashiti done wrong, but also against all the officials and all the peoples who are in all the provinces of King Asaras. For the queen's behavior will be made known to all women, causing them to look at their husbands with contempt, since they will say, King Asarius has commanded Queen Bashiti to be brought before him, and she did not come. This very day, the noble woman of Persia and Medea, who have heard of the queen's behavior, will say the same to all the king's officials, and there will be contempt and wrath and plenty. If it please the king, let a royal order go out from him, and let it be written among the laws of the Persians and the Medes, so that it may not be repel, re repealed. <clears throat> that Vashiti is never again to come before King Asarias, and let the king give her royal position to another who is better than she. This is... Re so when the decree made by the king is proclaimed throughout all this kingdom, for it is vast, all women who, gave, who give honor to their husbands, high and low alike, 
This advice, this advice pleased the king and the princes, and the king did as Mamunkin proposed. He sent letters to all the royal provinces, to every province in his own script, and to every people in its own language, that every man be master in his own household and speak according to the language of his people. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to need to meditate on that one. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.